Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap has got the usual mixture, machining, welding, and a bit of plasma cutting. I do a job with Deb actually, a job for Deb's mum. We make a new gate for our garden. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of that, some plasma cutting, a little bit of stick welding. I've had quite a good response from the drones I put on for the machinist Jack, as a few people sent pictures in of what they have made. I'll put them up towards the end of the video. If you want to have a go at making one of the, the jacks, the PDF file is in the introduction box of the video. Just click on it, it's completely free of charge. Click on it and use it as much as you like. Names have been coming in for the monthly draw. Uh, as normal, I'm getting quite a few names. If you haven't entered, all you need to do is send me an email containing your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. That's my email address up there somewhere. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post a prize off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. Right, I've got the last little bit to make, which is that little spacer piece there, which fits into there, and that's what moves the actual dog clutch back and forward. That looks like it's a little washer with a M3 countersunk screw in. I'm going to make mine solid, and I'm going to use M4 threads, because I haven't got an M3 die. So I'll make like a little washer with a, a stub on him. He'll have to drill that hole in position once he gets it all set up because I haven't got the I haven't got the distance between those two centers. So I'll have a go at making that bit. Here's a new painted spanner, bell end AR40 spanner. I really like it. It needs to be 13 mil. Right, that's a nice fit in there. So I want some formal threads on that. Point nine four that'll do for me. Not sure how good this four wheel die is. I need to buy some decent small metric dies. Just gonna put this by hand, no power feedies on the little sizes. I think it's cutting a thread anyway.
This is not a split die, it's just a cheap 4mm die. Done alright, you put a thread on stainless. Bollocks. Put a 4mm nut here, we'll try that on it. What am I going to do? That's got a slight bend in that, obviously. I've obviously took it when I've been wearing the die down. Not matter much, but it just doesn't look doesn't look right. Looks better. That's all the parts made. Everything's stainless except that. And that's that strange stainless steel that the, the kingpin was made out of. I'm making another one of them because I'm not quite happy with that. It's a little bit piss wobbly. Okay, so I've cut out an AR40 and an AR32. Basically a little touch with a file in the corner is all it needs and they really are a nice fit in the nuts. That's the AR41. Obviously they spend a bit of time draw filing or emery tape just to take some of the sharp corners off. Because that is an actual that's the finish the plasma gives. And the AR32 one fits in there very nicely as well. Nothing at all the matter with that. Once again, just a little touch with the fire just to square that corner up. And that's all it needs. And your hand, your hand won't slip off the end of there. If anybody's interested in buying one of these, if you send us an email, 
I'll put a comment and if I get plenty of interest I'll price them up and put them on eBay I would imagine probably a reason of £15 each including postage or 25 quid for the pair posted anyway you'll okay me in line but I'll have to price up the 5 mil plate first just to make sure obviously any proceeds from them goes into back into the workshop little we are supporting me in this expensive hobby I've got Well out of there, yeah?
Do you think they're cute? It's lovely. Who designed it? Me. Who built it? You. Is he clever? Should I show them your world? No.